right, welcome to this edition of the Central Ohio Housing Report. This is Adam Ashba, and this month we're going to talk about the recap of 2019 and last month, December 19's housing market in Central Ohio, so stay with us. <laughs> All right, all for all of you Central Ohio homeowners, the 2019 results have just came out. And just to recap a little bit about uh, the housing market in Central Ohio for 2019. Um, actually, 2019 kind of marks the a banner year for the Columbus market uh, and the housing market, which I think we all know with the prices so high. But uh, this is a report that's released by the Columbus Board of Realtors. It just came out today. And it says the 2019 housing market was fueled by the overall strength of the economy, uh, mostly due to the stock market at uh, new highs throughout the year. And unemployment was very low at a 50 year all time low. Uh, days on market for a home in 2019 in central Ohio uh, is actually one of the lowest historically. Uh, if you have a house that's under $350,000 or less, which most uh, are under that, uh, a house was only on market for 27 days. So that's incredible from what we saw. And I believe last year about this time it was at 31. So we've seen a, uh, a, a reduction. Um, but uh, the, the board president, Andy Mills, said that uh, you know, due to the strong economy and the low mortgage rates, it's it's really been a uh, buyer activity has been pretty strong, as we all know. Um, but the, the issue with Central Ohio has been uh, it's been really constrained with inventory levels because there's still at historical uh, lows as, as we uh, have known over the past three and a half years or so. Um, compared 2019 to 2018, the number of homes available for sale actually is lower, 6.2% lower. Uh, year over year from 2018 to 2019, which was kind of surprising, especially with everything being built. Um, as you know, if you're from the Ohio area, it's just exploding, especially in the Columbus, Columbus market. Um, with uh, supplies on the decline, however, that increased the prices of the home. Just basic economics. Lower supply, uh, higher the cost. And uh, the average sale price, uh, median sale price for a home last year was 209900 So we're still well over that $200,000 mark, which we broke about two years ago uh, in, in our market. Um, sellers received an average of 98.7% of their asking price. So very little negotiation, uh, much at all um, is happening if you do list your home for sale. Uh, like I tell all my clients, if you're in the market or thinking about selling, now's the most opportune time for sure. Um, during 2019, homes under $350,000 sold uh, in an average of 27 days, like we said before. Homes sold between $350,000 to $500,000, which would be pretty typical in the Dublin, New Albany, Powell, Lewis Center, uh, some parts of Westerville, um, they took about 46 days to sell. So if you have a fairly normal priced home, kind of anticipate anywhere from about 30 to 45 days from uh, the day you put the sign in the yard until the day you go into contract. Not when you get your money, but the day you actually get a contract uh, agreed upon between the buyer and seller. Um, foreclosure markets, continues to decline. Unfortunately, for those investors looking for foreclosures, uh, those uh, are down 2.5% uh, from year over year. Um, so there's less foreclosures than we've seen, uh, unlike the good old days back in 2010, 11, and 12 for the those who were uh, active agents back then. Um, while the Federal Reserve moved to temper the hot economy with lower interest rates, um, in 2019, uh, since the rates, mortgage rates did drop, uh, which some of you know, that really sped up the, um, the uh, GDP growth and uh, kept the economy solid and uh, more and more people were eager to buy. The housing market remains healthy nationwide. 
as prices gain and limited inventory being the most common threads against most major metropolitan uh, areas of the United States. Um, a new, new construction activity has improved, but it's still below levels required to kind of even out the buyers and seller demand. Uh, in the Lewis Center, Dublin, uh, Powell Corridor of Central Ohio, it's unbelievable what they're building. Um, nonstop, huge developments. Uh, some, as you know, uh, as well, <laughs> driving on the north, north end of uh, Columbus. But uh, tight inventory continues to constrain buyer activities in some parts of Columbus. Uh, it's still definitely a seller's market. Um, uh, not so much on the buyer side. If you're a buyer, again, please prepare to pay close to full ask. Again, last year, 98.7% of uh, what the sellers were asking for, for list price they got. So if you're a buyer, be prepared that um, you will have to pay pretty close to list price, uh, even sometimes over list price, uh, which can be crazy sometimes. And then if you're a seller anywhere in that half a million dollar or less inventory, look at your home being on market anywhere from about a month to a month and a half. So this concludes January's housing report for Central Ohio. And this is Adam Ashba, president of Ashmont Realty. We'll see you next month.